Hello folks and welcome back to the channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Rexmore and I like to show you how to get the most out of your Rust experience. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do that with your base design. Whether you're looking for a starter base 2x1 or a 2x2 core, I'm going to be showing you how to more than double your loot inside of your base. Starting off, we are going to be looking at the 2x1, but let's talk about how this is going to happen. Recently, Rust had a new DLC that featured two brilliant new items. Those would be the horizontal and vertical barrels. As you can see, these barrels do hold the exact same storage as a large box, but they do so in a much smaller profile. Mainly what we're going to be focusing on today is this horizontal barrel. Because while the vertical barrel is nice, it does have a invisible hitbox all around it that does take up quite a bit of space. The horizontal barrel does have one as well, but it is a considerably smaller hitbox. As well, you'll notice very quickly that while it is a little taller, it does take up considerably less space than the large box. Now you'd probably be thinking, okay, that maybe adds one extra barrel, and yes, you can just add one extra barrel to your loot room. Easy peasy, no problem. But today we're going to be looking at min-maxing your loot room. And that is, we're going to more than double the loot storage in the standard 2x1 design. So let's start by first building the 2x1. We'll actually hold off on the roof. And at this point, you could go ahead and just upgrade everything. You would, of course, want to get your doors down, lock yourselves in so you're nice and secure. And we can even go ahead and get our TC. But before we get our TC down, let's come outside of our base to the backside here. And we're going to build a shelf for that TC room. We're going to do so by starting off like so. Creating this nice little half wall. This piece right here. And then you can either clip from the outside here. Which doesn't always like to work. Or you can come back inside and connect to that right there. Now here's an important part of this base. To get the most out of the space in here, we're actually going to rotate these three walls. This is just going to give us slightly more space than we would have if we didn't rotate them. You are going to want to make sure you rotate them back. So we're going to do this rather quickly. And we're going to start off with this TC placement. It is very important you get this TC absolutely straight using that foundation piece down there to line yourself up. And then you want to go as far back as possible. You want to make sure that it is lined up right against that wall. Every little bit of space will count in this. Now at this point, we are going to hold off on putting the walls back. First, we're going to want to get our barrels. Get your first barrel and we're going to place it right here with the handle facing away. You also want to make sure that you get it as straight as possible. This can take a little bit of practice and you might need to place and pick up the barrels every now and then just to get it perfect. If it does help, you can also use the foundation on the left there. I use the legs and the foundation to kind of line myself up. Once that's placed, I don't know if this actually matters that much, but I find rotating the handles inward, it just places faster for me. I get less issues. We're going to place that right in there like so. And we're going to come up here and we're going to do the same thing. Now, you could add an additional box right here, but it does make the whole process a lot harder. So I don't love using that box. And we're going to start with, again, the handle facing towards us right here. And I'm going to want to actually upgrade this just so I can line myself up a little bit better. I'm using this line down here. And I want to get it basically as far back as possible but also as far to the right as possible because that'll give me an additional box spot here if I want to later. Though again, completely optional. I'm going to then rotate it back and I actually find jumping around to be the best option here. But you really want to get this barrel against this back wall here. Again, you want the handle facing towards you with those handles on the right facing out. Now, you did see I had the blue a couple times, but I'm looking to get that perfect placement. I want to get it so that it's not only placed on the shelf, but placed as far to that back wall as possible. Once you've got these two barrels in place, we're going to go ahead and place our final barrel right here. You do want to get as close to the other barrel as possible. And I actually think my right barrel is slightly slanted. But it's not going to matter because I do have enough room for my doorway. 
I'm then gonna actually place my doorway back, rotate these walls back to how they were, which is gonna require a coat outside. At this point, you absolutely could put your roof on. Again, you can place a couple extra boxes here and you can get one here if your placement is perfect. Though I personally dislike using either of those boxes. Next, we're gonna go ahead and seal off our roof. Get ourselves nice and tucked away in here. And rather than trying to do three boxes across like this, which might work, but is far too finicky, we're actually gonna place this box here instead. We're gonna go right up against that wall and I'm gonna rotate here right up against that wall. Now, once you have these all in place and everything upgraded and you're locked away, we're gonna wanna place two more right here. Instead though, in order to make getting to all of these individual barrels easier, I'm actually gonna go one barrel and two small boxes. To make that fit, you're gonna wanna either upgrade this to metal or we're gonna upgrade it to one of the DLC skins. I find Adobe actually has the smallest hitbox for the door frames. And that is actually very helpful. And then we're just gonna take the handle and push it right into that door frame. That is handle facing out. I, I, I don't actually know if that matters. It just matters to me. And then you'll be able to easily place these two boxes here. And we're doing this not only for storage, but also for the ability to access all of our boxes. This gives you a nice little lift up to these boxes back here so you can make sure you're accessing individual boxes. And it also makes it so you can access this one back here without any issues. Otherwise, you'll find that you're getting into the wrong barrel and that can be incredibly frustrating. Now, yes, this does mean that this barrel and these two boxes can be looted through this door here, but ultimately you do end up getting But ultimately, you do end up getting a lot more storage in the same space. Next, you're gonna take your furnace or your workbench, throw it over here, get yourselves your two large or your two small boxes in it, and then you'd place your furnace right here, a couple bags for you and your friends right here. And that's your two by one. Whether it's your starter base or the core to your base, this will make an absolutely huge difference. Next, we're gonna be getting into how your two by two can be even more effective. And if you're looking to take a break from the building, it's time to jump into some epic battles with today's sponsor. Enlisted is redefining what it means to be an FPS, combining PVP and PVE combat to create a truly unique experience. Take command of a squad of customizable AI soldiers in epic battles across a variety of campaigns and into battle against hundreds of targets led by real players. From Moscow in 41 to Berlin in 45, each campaign offers distinct weapons, vehicles, and equipment authentic to its era. Each campaign has so much variety, ensuring a new experience each time. Not only that, Enlisted caters to all gamers, from casual players enjoying the realistic battlefield roles to hardcore gamers who love the intense, immersive combat. My personal favorite aspect is the massive arsenal, with over 100 weapons and vehicles, including the classic M4 Sherman or even obscure guns like the VG2, there's always something new to master. Enlisted isn't just about the action, boasting stunning graphics and authentic sound design, impressive even on lower end systems. Ready for the challenge? Join Enlisted now, free on PC, PlayStation, or Xbox. Make sure to use my link down below for a free bonus pack with exclusive weapons, soldiers, and a premium account. Back to the building side of gaming, let's look at taking care of a 2x2, two two, the second most common type of base. We can actually fit more than double the storage in a 2x2 two two in the very same way. First off, let's just get rid of this airlock here because we are going to be using the same 2x1 starter base. This means you can establish this 2x1 area first and then expand out to your 2x2 two two when you're ready. We're just gonna slap our airlock over here and we're gonna build this out of, well, Adobe now. Place our airlock right here. Come inside and let's look at what is normally your standard loot room. So to build that loot room, we're just getting this floor piece across here. I use that half wall to get myself a raised bit and then we connect it to that. Now, normally this loot room is gonna look something like this. Maybe you're gonna put ramps in it. You might fit some small boxes in between. 
but that is basically your max capacity for this square loot room. Today, we're gonna more than double that. The first thing we're gonna need is this previously unused standing barrel. This finally has a use. First, we're gonna place this barrel as far to this back wall as possible, and then we're gonna take it to the left as far as possible. Next, we're gonna come over and do the exact same thing on the right side. And you wanna just kinda like wiggle as you see me doing here, and you'll eventually get it into place. If you've done this correctly, you should be able to place a small box right in between them. And then you're gonna come and take your laying down boxes, your horizontal boxes, and we're gonna place first one right here. And again, I like to have that handle facing me. Placing one here, and then the second one right here. I wanna make sure it's placed as far back as possible. And if done properly, again, we should be able to face place a small box right here. Once you've got all of your boxes in place, we're gonna then take a campfire and place it right here. The reason we do that is because we wanna be able to raise ourselves just a little bit to maximize the ease at which we access each individual box. I personally really dislike when you're fumbling trying to get from one box to another. It's just very, very irritating. As such, you are gonna find this back box is probably the most difficult to access. So if you aim just a little bit above this first small box, you should be able to get it. I definitely recommend a crosshair, but thanks to Rust's in-game crosshair, this is fairly easy. Again, if you're a little off, you might end up just clipping to the first small box. So you're just gonna wanna go right to the middle and go up like so. We're gonna do the exact same thing up here. So we're just gonna take our first barrel and try to place it as far back as possible. And then over to the left, another barrel over to the right, and then the barrel in between. Now, if you are a storage junkie, we can get a little bit more out of this. And so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna hang boxes off of here. Now this does require that you had perfect placement at the back, as otherwise you won't have enough room to actually get this box in. You also wanna make sure that the box is far enough away from you you can still very easily jump up into this area. Now this box could definitely be a little further away, giving me a little bit more room. And obviously you can repeat that pattern down here as well. Now again, these boxes will not be the most secure as they will protrude through the door. Locking them doesn't really help too much, but it is giving you a lot more storage in that same small area. With more than double the storage, I don't know if this item is just OP or if it's actually pay to win. It might very well be a game breaking change in my opinion, but let me know yours down below in the comments. Big thank you to Enlisted for sponsoring today's video. If you're as excited about epic battles as I am, make sure you check out Enlisted for its high action PVP and PVE combat, stunning graphics, and the amazing attention to detail. It's free on PC, PlayStation, and Xbox, and it is a blast. Don't forget to use my link down below in the description for a free special bonus pack. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the battlefield. But that's it, folks. If you guys liked this video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more content. Until next time, peace out.